Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai, you've been so good to me. Bangkok, I'm ready for you. Here I come, baby. Welcome to Bangkok. I think I picked the right spot to stay. Remgard Hotel, downtown Bangkok, Soy 18. I'm feeling homesick. And guess what? They have a really cool restaurant called Rang Mahel on the 26th floor and they do a sick Sunday brunch. Ola, let's go. As a guest not, I travel, as a chef I eat and taste all kinds of food but sometimes you know, you gotta get home and that's the reason I'm actually here at the famous Rang Mahal restaurant. So I have here Chef Rajan, very nice to meet you Chef. Thank you. Chef, now Bangkok is international, ho gaya. it's the number one destination for food and now you are about 14-15 years here. So how do you think how you Indian cuisine accept Indian Change you have seen a lot of change, but I am only doing the authentic Indian cuisine. Okay. High people and Europeans, they like authentic, authentic food. Correct. So as you know that the Indian food is really getting accepted by a lot of different nationalities. In fact, it's become very aspirational to cook or eat Indian food. So Chef, have you any signature dishes? Yes, absolutely. This is Rani Khaibar, Paneer Tikka. Fantastic. So the ran is actually an iconic dish which is a slow cooked leg of lamb. So chef, you can tell us how it is made. We make the lamb leg before we marinate it. After 4-5 hours after we marinate it, we cook it in the oven. When it's cooked, we cook it in the oven. Then we cook it in the oven. As in first, it's braised in the oven? Oven. After the marination, we cook it in the oven. And all the juices that are added to the gravy. Fantastic. Okay, so what's the ran? What's the ran? And all the juices that are added to the gravy. Fantastic. And is this a local lamb or is it the... This is a local lamb. Oh, it is local? It is local lamb. Believe me guys, I have eaten lamb a few times in Bangkok. But this lamb is just outstanding. This is Malai broccoli. It's cooked with cheese and cream marination. And it's cooked with Tundur. Fantastic. A lot of people nowadays are going for vegetarian options. Plant Kingdom is taken all over the world. And I think the chef has got a really nice balance of the menu which he is doing here. Now today in a city like Bangkok, where you have each and every brand of restaurant from all over the world, in order to be an iconic restaurant for the last 14 years is definitely something very credible, something which is very consistent and has become almost a culinary landmark of New York. I think it's a fabulous way to remember your home, to enjoy some authentic Indian recipes created by the chef himself. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Bangkok, Thailand is one of the most vibrant cities, a city which doesn't sleep and it never stops. Don't look at the price tag when you're looking at quality in Bangkok because this place is bang for the buck. I'll see you in Bangkok. Hello guys, welcome to hey, Arika. How are you guys doing? Very good. Congratulations for... Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure to have you guys over. Pleasure to be here, Chef. Thank you for making the trip from India. Yeah. And uh, yeah, welcome to Ga. Let me show you around. Yeah, sure. We'll follow you. Thanks, Chef. This way. So this is uh, one of the four dining rooms that we have in the entire restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is our bar space, but normally this is like a shared table or a semi-private dining room. Nice. Uh, so you can see this lady behind us, this is the ghost of the house. So this used to be an old townhouse before, and when the workers came in and started working here, they were all convinced it was haunted and they wouldn't want to work. So as a painter to the woman, we painted it on the wall, 
<laughs> Great, so let's go to the kitchen and have one of my signature dishes ready for you. Yes! We'll uh, cook it together and then you guys can eat it. <laughs> let's go for it, guys. Best ever. So one of my favorite dishes and the most popular, either people love it or people hate it. This is the jackfruit main course. I love it. I love jackfruit. So we did this northern um, Chiang Mai sausage yeah. and jackfruit salad. Oh, that sounds it was... so good. I think why don't you cook and I sit and eat. <laughs> next, next time, next time. All right, so jackfruit. Now what we do is we use the ripe and the unripe jackfruit for it. And uh, of course, you first get this big steak of uh, unripe jackfruit, but we pair it with the uh, ripe jackfruit flatbread. So that's got a little bit of jackfruit, a little bit of sweetness in it. I love it. You know how you add a little bit of salt to your yeah, yeah, yeah. cookies, your chocolate cookies, yeah. and it tastes so yeah, much yeah, better? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A little bit of sweetness to your savory yeah, dish, yeah, I think I it just makes it, it much, it. much better. But yeah, so normally we just uh, hit it with a little bit of smoke. You can put wood there as well? We normally do, so um, okay. normally hit it with a lot of uh, smoke in the beginning of it. Yeah, so just you can pull it off. And then we just let it uh, simmer, simmer in, in yeah, it, yeah. a little bit. It's got to be nice and juicy. It's very important. Just a pretty straight forward and we just let it warm through. That's about it. And we have the breads ready, Chef? All right, let's plate this dish then. All right, very simply, we just put this whole dish together. You have your unripe jackfruit here. A little hint of sweetness and sourness. We have caramelized onions. This is meant to be for one person? No, no, this is to share on the table. Oh, I was wondering <laughs> that, you know. And then you have these breads and uh, that's your main course. Lovely. Chef Garima's uh, signature main course dish on the current menu is this braised jackfruit with jackfruit bread, pickles. And it's amazing to see how Thai ingredients come across so well. She's actually even used the seed of the mango, which we kind of throw away. The icing on the cake today is Chef Garima. Welcome to Vicky the Gastronaut, Chapter 3, Thailand. <laughs> Chef, it's an honor to meet you. And uh, we are all very, very proud that the first Indian lady to win a Michelin star. I've been a chef for many years and it's quite a journey, right? So why don't you tell us a little about your journey? Well, uh, I've been cooking for 10 years now. Uh, I was not always a cook. I was a journalist to begin with, studied to be a journalist. And somewhere down the line realized that if I want to cook, it's a young person's game, I have to do it now. So I quit my journalist job and moved to Paris to study cooking. Yeah. So why Thailand? I think Thailand chose me. It was the other way around. It was never my plan. I spent some time here, a couple of months, hoping to go back to India. But in the meantime, you've seen how amazing it is up north. Yeah. So you've been open, you told me, 18 months. So within 18 months, a brand new restaurant gets a one Michelin star. What do you think goes behind getting a star? I think there's no, no, no substitute for hard work in any field. Hard work is important, consistency is important. And uh, yeah, we just keep doing what we do, honestly. Anyway, it's been, it's, it's been great and uh, we welcome you once again to India. And definitely, I would love to cook with you in the future. It'll be, it'll be my greatest honor, Chef. Okay, thank you. Thank you. God thank bless. you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye -bye. From Chat to Chat to Icon Siam, Bangkok is a place for everything. You can shop till you drop for 500 baht or you can shop for 50,000 baht. Let's go! Banana very, very good. Right? Yeah, you can try this one. <laughs> yeah. Don't smell. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite a trooper. I go beyond the broken path. I go 
and eat anywhere I want and I discover I love flavors. I'm here actually to show you that if you're not brave hearted as me, there's a lot of great food actually happening in Icon CM. We have culturally divided this mall into different kinds of foods which come from the different parts of Thailand. So actually here, we are in southern Thailand where you've got the special curries which come from there. There are sweets, there are mangoes, there's lots of things. For those people who don't like to eat on the street, this is the street food which has come in a more controlled environment. Uh, so if you're a little paranoid, well, CM Icon is your place. But definitely very high-end shopping, great restaurants and, you know, something different to do. Wow, very interesting.